Hey everyone, Elizabeth here. So I'm low or slow on uploading these videos because my channel was striked and I was not able to upload videos for the last week, but I do remember, okay, so if you have not watched my former videos and understanding um, the pillars of the system, the five of them, it's really worth watching and starting to get to understand the perspectives from JC. I'm not saying her name, um, because I, like I said before, every time I've ever tried to comment her name, um, my comments disappeared off of this platform. So obviously there's some sort of algorithm use. Um, and I've been talking to the air for five years on such a small platform. It's just unbelievable that I, I have the amount of problems that I do <laughs> on this platform. But the one thing I forgot to mention is that it is really important to understand why the system kind of operates like that octopus with its various tentacles or its various um, pillars. I chose to say the word octopus um, because the octopus itself has various tentacles. And if, and if you cut that off, eventually it regenerates itself, but it has other tentacles that it can use to continue its daily life, okay? So that's kind of how the system works. So the system has deeply dug its little nails or tentacles into various areas of, of the system, creating these five pillars, because if one pillar fails, the other four are able to keep the agenda and the system going. So I hope that is very clear and makes sense. So a lot of what we tend to focus on in this um, world or community would be a lot on specifically the Masons. So when um, somebody sent me this video of the Latina church uh, that was spared from burning down, so let's just take a quick look at this video. Nothing else but Maria Lanatia. Now he joins. Okay, so when I saw that, my initial reactions, so those were like, wow, um, that that reminds me a little bit of the, the fire at the Notre Dame in Paris where the Bibles didn't actually burn in the building, um, in the church, but almost everything else did burn down. And so your initial reaction is like, oh my God, this is a grace from God. And if you just look down and scroll the comments, it's like the house of the Lord still stands and, uh, you know, um, God is so good. Let's praise him. Uh, so anyways, it is nice to see that this church has not burnt down, but my little skeptical analytical Virgo moon brain started to wonder because my perspectives have been changed from JC of understanding the five pillars of the system. And she talks a lot about um, weather witchery, which is a newer concept that has been introduced um, to me from her. Uh, this year and why this is important is because behind everything physical on this planet is something spiritual and so we do know that things like weather modification are real so I'm like what is this Lahaina church and of course it's a catholic church um it has been deemed, oh, I'm sorry, this is the wrong article. Whoops, whoops, whoops. It has been deemed as a miracle that this Maui church has not been burnt down. And when I went to its website, or even in this news article, it's a Catholic church. So even, even you know, from like the Christian post and many Christians are like, it's a miracle, it's a miracle, it's the grace of God. Is it? Or has the Catholic church been a part of some sort of weather witchery that they've been able to protect themselves amidst everything else that has been. I mean look at this everything is burnt from across the streets except for this that's some powerful energetic spiritual channeling I've been a Reiki uh, practitioner you you know when you channel stuff it's really extreme and can be extremely extremely powerful now um i don't do reiki anymore i've walked away from all of that stuff but from what i've understand is that when we start to channel and manipulate energy that's a lot on um, more of the white magic side of things and so what you have the system is running more on that black magic side of things um solomonic magic and stuff like that so then I started looking, I just Googled Maui churches, and then 
And then come to realize that immediately after all this burning and stuff has happened, guess who is providing shelter? The LDS church, which is the Mormon church. So um, the Mormon church started to provide a temporary, temporary um, sheltering for uh, the citizens of Maui and the church also donated $1 million to the Red Cross. That's the governor there. Um, so we can see that uh, Brad Kaiserman, the vice president of disaster operations and logistics with the, opera, uh, logistics with the American Red Cross speaks to the bishop. Um, Christopher Walder, first consul in the presiding um, bisphoric uh, in Lahaina. The church announced a $1 million donation to the Red Cross. So if you know anything about any of these organizations or NGOs, I mean, there's really no good company or NGO or nonprofit to donate to. So I personally think people should start looking into him as seeing if he's in the Masonic realm at all. But th this is these are major red flags. These are major red flags. So it's asking what what is going on. So then as we kind of learned, started to read about Josh Green um, from his, uh, my perspective is that he's probably part of that Kazarian um, lineage here to keep their agenda going. But when you read about his medical career, I tried looking into this deeper, but there's really not much online besides Wikipedia. He practiced family medicine and worked in emergency rooms. At times, he was the only physician in the island's rural areas. What the fuck is going on in the rural areas? What is going on with all of these children who are missing? What is going on with all the people who have not been accounted for? Why the fuck has the Catholic Church um, not burnt down? It's uh, I'm going to mute this, but it's the only you know, part of this area that has not burnt down, everything else is incinerated by it. Um, why has the Mormon church stepped up to provide a bunch of donations to the Red Cross in addition to providing shelter? It's also been recently known that um, uh, one woman reported that people are starting to get sick from the water that's by FEMA. And I even told a friend, I was like, I would not trust any sort of food or water aid that's coming from any of these organizations. Why has, what has um, the, the governor of Hawaii, what was he doing in these rural areas? You know, look back at my past videos of even the Hitachi uh, video of them putting like the little windmills in the mountainous areas. I mean, Illegal transportation is very easy. I've lived on an island country. I lived in Australia twice. Oh, I started looking into uh, missing people and I was just trying to get to see if there was a certain commonality. You have a lot of 30s and a lot of like 60 year olds. So um, I was just trying to look into that to see if there was anything uh, worth noting in this video. But we should be looking and questioning what is going on because a lot of children are missing and um, as we now know, thanks to um, Jessie's and JC's uh, knowledge and wisdom that she has been providing us, we have been able to flip and change our lens to be able to analyze things and not get super emotional and just think like, oh my God, this is like, this is God working. Like, <laughs> I mean, fuck, if people think, like this is how deep and dark the deception is that when we fail to realize, because we don't have the knowledge of it, that this is a grace from God, when really, I, I almost don't think that it is. I think there's some spiritual energetic forces behind all of this that have been able to keep that building intact. Um, I mean, start, start listening to her. Uh, it's to the point where, you know, when, if you've been spiritual, you might have heard these things like, oh, you want to get the ions from planet Earth, so we should be walking around barefoot. You know, she talks a lot about before all these rituals, these um, witches, whatever you want to call them, do walk around barefoot in the forest to gain more power and energy. She, she I mean, I said this before, I'm like 80 videos in, so I've heard a lot. I mean, it's even some things where somebody's dying and people are standing these people in the system are standing over the dying person with their mouths open, hoping to get um, that person's spirit in their body. So they're getting more power and more energy. So 
these are my questions. Um, this experience of being the only physician in rural areas, the only, that's what it's claiming. That, these are sirens. When, once you are equipped with this knowledge, Catholic Church didn't burn down, the Mormon Church is providing temporary shelter, as well as donating to the American Red Cross. You have people getting sick from aid. Um, you have a shit ton of kids still missing. So get Americans and Maui citizens should get mad because this, this, as you know, might not have been natural. And, you know, now they're blaming the power system in Maui and, um, and what's going on? What is going on with all those spiritual gates? What, what What's going on in all those mountainous areas in Maui? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's the only thing I can think of. Fuck. Say a prayer. I guess that's... You feel so helpless at this time. But I'm just going to keep rambling. But I think I've made my point. Thank you. Bye-bye.